Good morning, this is Pastor Alan Baggett, and I am live on the road today to give you your word of encouragement uh, from today's Victory Church. I just want to be able to speak something into your life today that will uh, help you and bless you. Uh, so many people going through so many things uh, right now during this time, especially the Ukrainian people. Uh, such a heaviness over so many people in our country today and the world around us that so many times that we uh, forget. We forget actually who we are and we forget uh, what we are and we forget whose we are. So this morning I just wanted to, to, to take a step further with that while I'm out on the road and just give that to you <clears throat> and just encourage you with a small word today. Galatians chapter 1, <clears throat> verse 15. Galatians chapter 1, verse 15. It says this, But even before I was born, God chose me and called me by His marvelous grace. Now this is the Apostle Paul speaking. This is the same guy that was persecuting Christians. This is the same guy that was doing so many horrible things until he met Christ on the road to Damascus and he appeared to him, knocked him off his horse, a shining light, blinded him even and um, for a short time. And he's saying, before I was born, God chose me and called me by his marvelous grace. <clears throat> I, I want to speak something to you this morning. I want you to get this no matter the circumstance, no matter what you're going through, I've been dealing with issues all day, all last yesterday, all night, with different issues that have popped up, just things that happen while you're in ministry, and the people that you, the people that you serve, and and uh, all kinds of just things that we've been having to deal with, and but as I go through it, I'm encouraging everyone, and I and I need them to understand this, that that before you was even born, God chose you. Before you was even born, He called you. And He did it by His marvelous grace. He is with you right now. The Lord has a plan. And the Lord has a purpose for each and every one of us. <clears throat> I know it seems clouded by circumstance. And I know we get distracted. And I know we have family issues, we have job issues, and we have money issues, and sometimes we have all of those things at one time. We have Sometimes we have health issues, and we have all those things happening all at one time. But I want you to listen to me, and this is a true word. If I've ever spoken a true word, this is a true word. The Lord has a plan and a purpose for you, and He will take your circumstance, and He will Take your mess and he'll turn your mess into a miracle. He'll turn your mess into something marvelous. He'll turn your mess into something great. Whether that be in your body, whether it be in your family, whether it be in your finances or whatever. God, God is with you and he has <clears throat> a plan. And he has a purpose for each and every one of you. You are not here by accident. You are not an accident. And you are not here by accident. You are purposefully created and planned and placed on this earth with your unique abilities and with all the stuff that you have. You, God has a purpose and a plan. He has chosen and called you to be an instrument in His hands. He loves you. He wants to make available to you every resource that He has. And He has chosen you and He has called you to be an instrument of His hands. In His marvelous grace, He wants to use your life. He wants to use your mess. He wants to use your circumstance. He wants to use all this stuff that's going on in your life right now to, to come out on the other side and give Him honor and glory. God is with you. You are going to, you are going to survive. You are going to come through. And God's going to have all the glory because the reason I can say that with confidence is because God has a plan and purpose for you. You are not an accident. 
You're not something that he said, oops, I made a mistake. I'm going to discard that one. That is not taking place. It's by his marvelous grace that God is with you even this very moment. Right now, God is with you. And he's calling your name by his marvelous grace. So as you go through the day today, as you move forward <clears throat> through your day today, I want you to sit down and say, you know what? I see this is happening. I see that's happening. This is going on and that's going on. But God called me by his marvelous grace. God has a plan for me. There's a purpose for me. I am not an accident. I am a child of God. God is in my life. God is in my heart. I am his child. I am grafted into the vine. Begin to speak those words over here. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. And he has chosen me and called me. And <clears throat> I am an instrument in the hands of God. And his marvelous grace ha <clears throat> has touched me. His marvelous grace has been applied to my life. And God wants to use you. Begin to speak that stuff. Speak it over yourself over and over and over again. Speak it to yourself over and over and over again. Don't let it get it away from you. Speak it into yourself over and over and over again. And see what God will do. Amen? And walk out your day in victory. Walk out your day in peace. Walk out your day in joy, no matter the circumstance that you find yourself in. Amen? Well, my next appointment is here. <clears throat> and I'm going to pray over you guys. And pray a blessing over you, pray a blessing over your life, pray a blessing over your ministries, pray a blessing over all the stuff that's going on in your life, no matter the circumstance, no matter the situation that's going on. I'm, I just pray that you walk in grace and mercy and understand that you are not here by accident. God is with you always. Amen. You can tell I'm out on the road. i got all kinds of noise going on right now. Father, I thank you for your goodness and your grace. Father, your mercy. And I ask, Father, right now, just the, all those who are watching now, Father, all of those are going to be watching on replay, all those are going to hit it on YouTube later on, Father, and the, those will even see it later on, months down the road. Father, I just ask you to speak into their life right now. Let them understand they are not an accident. Father, you are there with them. You have a purpose for their life. You created them. You had a plan. You knew them and caught them before they were even born. They were, they were perfectly made perfectly made father by you every every desire every desire in their heart father every talent everything that they have all given by you so they can give glory and honor to you so let that begin to rise up in each and every one and as they do father and they cry out to you and they begin to realize this and they begin to proclaim and say hey i am a child of god father let peace begin to rise up and let joy begin to rise up inside of them we speak it now in the name of jesus amen amen Thank you guys for listening today. Now listen, it'll be a while before I can put it on YouTube because I'm out and about. But as soon as I do, I'm going to make it available and share this. Tag this to somebody. Let this word speak into somebody's life today. Amen. God bless you guys, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another word of encouragement into your life. Amen.